Right, keep an eye on that forecast to see if there will be clear sky Sunday night for a total lunar eclipse. Yeah, you can get a really close up view though at the Barlow Planetarium. Their director, Alan Pesch, is here. Good morning. Good morning, guys. My favorite space teacher. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because I look at all this stuff, and we are going to dive into this a little bit. But what is happening on Sunday night? Well, what, what's happening is the moon is entering the shadow of the Earth. Right. And that is called a total lunar eclipse, not compared to what happened August of 2017. Where we had the solar eclipse, the solar eclipse right. and, and the Earth entered the shadow of the moon. And we had this wonderful thing going across the United States, which was really awesome. But this one's not is not as spectacular, but everybody on the nighttime side of the Earth can see it. But if I can follow up, just looking at that graphic, that photo that you sent, it like it takes on a reddish color, and people yes. call it like the blood moon. In fact, moon. that's the picture we took at the solar eclipse. So that's the solar. That's one, the yeah. solar eclipse back in oh. August. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to enter the Earth's shadow. And only the red light can get through the Earth's atmosphere, and that's oh. the only one that gets to the moon. So it will get this reddish color. It also depends on what's happening with the weather around the world. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the 90s, we had a, a big volcano erupt called Pinatubo. It threw so much ash in the air, the eclipse actually got wiped out of the sky. It was so dark. Oh my so we'll get to see a red moon. It'll be a little bit bigger than normal. Okay. Uh, so it is a super moon, although yeah. we don't like that idea. <laughs> uh, and they're calling it. Uh, uh, <laughs> A blood moon, which makes it sound sinister, but it's not. It's something we know is going to happen. We can predict it. In fact, right over there, I have a book of 5,000 years of lunar eclipses. So if it's yes. something that was predicting something bad, well, we could use that book to predict to everything that was not. bad. Unless you're a waitress working that night. I can vouch, okay? <laughs> so we're going to have a bunch of shows that night. We're going to have eclipse viewing. It's going to be cold. It should be clear. At least that's what the forecast right. is right now. Our shows are going to be running timed with the eclipse. So you can see a kid's show before the eclipse. You can see our feature show just before the eclipse gets to its mm -hmm. best part. And at the end of the eclipse, at midnight, we will have Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. Very How appropriate. Cool. <laughs> and when you look up Sunday, like you said, don't let it scare you because this is going to be, you know, a natural phenomenon happening. And to kind of put it into perspective, you brought all this really cool <laughs> stuff here uh, to kind of show our viewers how exactly this is going to take place. So why don't you explain? Well, what's happening is the sun provides all the light in our solar system. Mm -hmm. So when we see moonlight, it is actually sunlight reflected. What's going to happen is the Earth is going to block the sun from reaching the moon on the far side. So what's going to happen is we'll get into that red phase where the moon will turn red. Now, this will take place over uh, basically from about 930 until midnight where you'll see changes. And you don't have to watch it the entire time. But make sure you get out for those changing times when we're right. going to into a partial, when we get to totality, when we get to middle of totality, and when the totality comes out, you can see the solar system moving, which is so ex <laughs> exceptional. It's moving all the time, but when we have two mm -hmm. things like the shadow and the earth and the moon doing things, we can actually see it move. And this is going to take a place, well, over an hour. So go out, enjoy the sky. It's a long period, so you'll also see the Earth rotate during that time. If you're going to see something at the beginning of the eclipse in the sky, look at the stars. If you go out toward the end, everything will be shifted to the west. Oh, I love that. That's really you cool. Know what? Let's do this, though. I love, Alan always puts it in perspective for us. Yes. So what's Nate going to demonstrate? Well, here we go. Here's our <laughs> Earth. And here we have a foot, a foot diameter Earth. The moon, the white ball, is actually accurate to size. And if we match it up, we can actually grab it here. Excuse my reach. Mm -hmm. It's about the size of the United States. Okay. Okay. Right. So if I were to hold this right here, yep. where would the moon? The moon what, would be, be about 250,000 miles away. Well, the yeah. Earth <laughs> is 225,000 miles. So if we rolled the Earth 10 times, that would get us about 30 so feet 10 away. Times 10 times away. Yeah. Way out Rotes of frame. rotated. Way right. Way out of frame. And then if we go out and talk about the sun, from where we are here on Mason Street in Green Bay, if the Earth was really that big, the sun would be on the 50-yard line of Lambeau Field and would be... 20 yards across. <laughs> yeah. That's very perspective. Yeah, yeah, it's very bizarre. Really quickly, I want to, um, if people are really interested in seeing the next uh, people to go up on space, you guys are offering a summer trip. We are looking at, at we don't realize, we just take care of the, with the news cycle nowadays. We haven't launched people to space from the United States since July 8th of 2011. Wow. All our people have been launched with our partners in the International Space oh, sure. Station, Russia. And uh, we're hoping to do all the planning to be able to catch the SpaceX uh, Crew Dragon launch oh, neat. this summer, which will be launching two people. They've already been selected. Okay. The test rocket's on the launch site right now. 
uh, with a brand new arm and <laughs> it looks so spacey. And it'll be a couple of those before we get to the summer, before they're ready to put people on it. So. All right. Well, but ahead of that, you will want to go to this month's Family Astronomy Night. It is Sunday, January 20th, starting at 845. Yeah, that's right. And the Barlow Planetarium is on Midway Road in Menasha. For reservations, all you got to do is call the number right there. Alan, thanks for that lesson. Appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Stay thanks, tuned Alan. for Sunday.